are you doing, Sly? Uh, I'm still alive, so I'm, do I'm doing good. That's very good, Sly. Yeah, um, is there anything you want to say, or you... We're you... out of toilet paper, Sly. Ah, uh, there it is. You, you ever just called to say hi anymore. <laughs> All right. Did well, you pick up some milk on the way, Sly? I thought we just got milk. Did you just eat... <laughs> You use all that milk already. So, so like when I, we were talking about dr getting our licenses earlier. When I finally got my license, I I knew it was coming, but still I I wasn't ready for it at all. I knew that my mom was going to call me and ask me to go get, ask me to go get milk, right? Yeah, at chores. The store. Yeah. I knew it was coming. I just wasn't still oh, wasn't. Oh, absolutely. Like, when I got my license, um, the floodgates opened, and I was the errand boy then. <laughs> yep. That's just how it works. You get a license, you're going to run some errands you, now. You think that getting a license is fun? <laughs> uh, could be more fun. I pity your soul. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you wise cracking teen thinking everything's all fun. It's not. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> all right? It wasn't that bad. I do not remember this level. It wasn't that bad at all, but still, you know, like everyone was asking you for rides. Everyone was, um, oh, dang nabbit. Everyone was asking you for rides. Everyone was asking you to go get stuff. Hey, can you go get that on the way? I remember high school was the worst when people, when like. Oh yeah, you were the ride guy for a while. I was the you? ride guy. You were the ride guy for me for quite a few times. Oh, like you, I never minded getting giving a ride, but there were other people that were like, hey, can, you, "Can you give me a ride?" When I was still in that period of like, I could only give family members rides. Oh yes, yeah, so you had to like pick and choose like who were your cousins, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> you had to find your friends who kind of looked like you. You're like, yeah, we could be related. Like you and me, like we're both six foot two, and we both have glasses, so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> well, obviously <laughs> they're both wearing glasses, so they have to be related. Let's let's somehow. ignore the drastic uh, skin tone change. <laughs> you could be a cousin. Yeah, absolutely. You could be cousin. You know. Cousin doesn't mean that we are the same skin tone, but yeah. That is true. If I've learned anything from my cousins, that is true. <laughs> I love having cousins. Cousins are kind of like your first friends. Yeah, they are. And man, they're annoying. Unfortunately, though, I like, I, I don't know about you, but I didn't really have that many cousins that were of my age. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh. So I, I have, well, okay. So I have two cousins that are my age. One lives in Seattle, so he's somewhat accessible. I talk to him every now and then. Nice. The other one lives in New York, not at all accessible. And you can't just can't it, just take a easy drive to New York City. Can't just take it. Yeah, you can't just take an easy drive to New York City. Nor is he like really that kind of a talkative guy over text, which I kind of appreciate. Those kind of kinds of people, it's kind of hard to talk over text sometimes. You know. Uh, yeah. I'm actually terrible at keeping up conversations uh, via text. Like, you have to be... Whoa, whoa, I camera. I can't see at all. Yo, Andy, the camera just does what you tell it to do. I did not, did not tell the camera to do none of that. You need to stop with all that camera nonsense. See, look. Anyway. What were we talking about? Uh, I was listening to yeah, sorry, I was listening to the this guy who wants to talk like this. <laughs> really? Who wants to talk like this? Okay, that, that was, was kind of Australian. borderline Australian. Uh, I've already told you my weird stigma with the British accent, how it always metamorphosizes into an Australian weird accent. Australian accent, yeah. Not even a good one either. No. Well, obviously, a any accent that Americans do, it's not that. Unless you personally train yourself to do that, it's it's really hard. One of the reasons why why I admire Benedict Cumberbatch so much. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I have the same birthday as Benedict Cumberbatch? No Which way. makes me the greatest fan ever. <laughs> you are a terrible <laughs> fan unless you have the same birthday as your hero. Really? Uh, yeah, so, not a lot of people know that. So... July 19th, by the way. Yeah, July 19th, we're both cancers. I, I'm sorry, I, I disagree because I, I have shared the same birthday with 
our old teacher, Mr. Stenberg, and I was not a huge fan of him. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying that he was a terrible no. person. Yeah, I like Mr. Stenberg, but sometimes he got a little bit on my nerves. A little bit. Uh, a little bit too. Uh, <laughs> a little too, bit too preachy. A little bit too preachy. Well, he was a pastor. I mean. Yeah, yeah. And a and a uh, and and the news. Uh, uh, not the news. The. Uh, <laughs> the I don't know where you're sports, going. Sports. Sports guy. Sports guy. Um, at our school. I forget what it's called. I didn't. Wait, what? Oh, he's um, sports manager. He managed all the sports, like literally. He managed not, basketball and soccer. Okay, but so you're not talking about Aaron's dad, who was a coach of the basketball team. You're talking about somebody else. No, Aaron. Aaron's dad's the coach of the basketball team. But he wasn't always. I guess not. Like, how long ago are you thinking? I'm thinking long, long time ago. Oh, uh, well, when I'm Mr. thinking back. Stenberg was the coach. I didn't of know that. Almost everything. Huh. Like was it like basketball, a, soccer? Was it like by default, like, hey, will you do this? And he was like, yeah, I'll do it. Well, look who just walked into my I'm confused now. So am I. Okay. Sorry, uh, my wife mm. was distracting me. Really big eyes. <laughs> she j just has these great eyes. She does. Oh, yeah, I love, shock uh, pistol. Last time it was a bazooka, now it's a shock pistol. Dinner, like it, it, I think it literally changes every single time. Her voice does. Sorry, he just said a girl with a girl whose best friend is a pistol has got some issues. I'm like, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of sexy. How but... else do you explain Robin from How I Met Your Mother? <laughs> okay. On that note, I am very, very angry about how Robin handles her gun. She doesn't lock her. Sh she locks her shoulder elbows when she's shooting she yeah yeah you've put way too much thought that alone was way too much thought in how a, how a fictitious character holds a gun no see i'm serious like it, it, it frustrates me so much how people uh, hold guns improperly what about sideways can i still hold it sideways no oh come on no. you're not cool i mean come i mean you're lame you're old i'm oh no i live you know what it is? I was taught how to hand, how to properly respect a gun. You res you have to give a gun respect, and I, this is what this this is my view. Sorry if sorry if you don't agree. This is my view. It's also a fact. You need to have respect for a weapon if you're going to own it. <sighs> sorry. This is my it's opinion. Just, it's it also was, a... I was instilled with uh, respect for firearms at a very young age. So Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a very yes. No, you're not. You're uh, your Eagle Scout. Why is this hard to balance on? Because because I, I can't press circle. That's why. And Boy Scout, is, an Eagle Scout is a Boy Scout. Okay, so, so you still hold that status then? Yes. A Boy, an Eagle Scout is still a Boy Scout. Huh. Did not know that. Yes. Did I know that? Yes, you did. Mm, I think I did. <laughs> My wife's gone. <clears throat> it's okay. It's she, whatever. She's she's gonna come back. She'll be back. You know, She'll be we're, back. We're fine. Don't worry about it. She she, she still Why likes me. Why do they keep an old, old old broken TV like that? Oh, it's for the aesthetic. <laughs> He's got a real grunge aesthetic. He's on Tumblr quite a lot, actually. <laughs> what? You don't know about grunge and Tumblr? No, uh, Tumblr basically Tumblr's basically dead. Is it? Yes. Oh, Tumblr, no. It, it, ever since it changed owners, uh, like somebody bought Tumblr, and Tumblr got a whole lot less cool. Oh. Well, I wouldn't know because I stopped using Tumblr because Tumblr's dead. <laughs> and that, that's seriously like one of the only things I remember about Tumblr is grunge, aesthetic, pale. Like there's still a lot of, oh, there's still a lot of people on Tumblr that are trying to like ah, basically no. fight for tumblr survival but as for as for tumblr as a like a social platform i wouldn't consider it very viable anymore she, but, you know i keep using i keep using instagram more and more i honestly don't know why it's got like a snapchat feature on it now and i don't know it's relatively easy to communicate with people on instagram that's cool because i'm not much of a picture taker i mean i am but then again i'm not I'm, I take I take moving pictures. That's what it is. I'm not really a picture person, but I know how to like just add enough hashtags to make me look really artsy. 
<laughs> hashtag amateur photography. Hashtag bad art. Like, I'm so Hasht self-aware, I know. Hashtag family friendly. <laughs> hashtag fit for life. Hashtag kid tested mother approved. <laughs> I love how, okay. Wait, did you, you see the explosion? It? You get it, and she's like, oh, he got the key. Oh, that's the end of my career. I oh. can't shoot him anymore. Guess I should probably think about retiring now. <laughs> he got the key already. What am I supposed to do? Kamalita Fox doesn't talk like this at all. <laughs> I don't even think Mugshot talks like this. <laughs> You know, it's you know great, what? Though. It doesn't even matter. It's a video <laughs> game. You know why? I don't even care. Uh, I went there, and I just went there. Do I? I don't already have enough keys, do I? No. No, I'm missing one of the. Yeah, there's a third one up there. I haven't been to yet. Yes. Don't die. Don't um, die. <laughs> don't tell me how to do my job. Okay. I'm um, not telling you how to not die. I'm just telling you to not die. Oh, my mistake. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> that was rude of me to assume that you were talking about my, my gameplay style. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Now, now, now jump at a perpendicular angle to the, uh, to, to the, uh, to the wire, to the wire. Okay. Well, and... I, I trust you wholeheartedly. So I, <laughs> I, I'll do it because you're my friend and I, I know you now care I'm about telling me. You how to... <laughs> no, no, but seriously, I am telling you how to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we, we're really tired of watching you getting killed by dogs. Like, seriously, clean up your act. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying at all. That's really what I'm telling myself. Like, seriously, stop dying. Seriously, quit falling down, Andy. Come on. Come on, Andy. You can it's, do better than that. It's positively Dickensian of you to keep dying like that. Mm. By, by dogs, no another. Yeah, good word, huh? Mm. I'm only kind of sure of what it means. <laughs> Uh, I, there's so many words in the English language that I wish were used more often. Oh, boom. Okay, yep. See? Um, the master of my destiny, and I fell. But it's okay, because I'm very good at jumping. You know, like, I've always been kind of curious if those kinds of... If those roofs are really as bouncy as TV and video games and, and movies make them look like. Oh, so um, I've always wanted to like jump off and like bounce on top of one of them. Okay, uh, I can help you with that dream. It won't work. <laughs> I'm only telling you this because I love you and I don't want to get a phone call from the police coming up to our door. Sam and I are in our pajamas. Like, what? It's it's two a.m. in the morning. His last words were, "I think it'll work." We we're wondering if you might know uh, what that meant. Yeah, officer, I think I I think I know what that means. Was there nothing down there to collect? No. Uh there's a there's a it looks like there might be a um safe, but Yeah, there's what, the one of the breakable safes? I missed it completely. Uh don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just get just continue on. I must be going the wrong way. Just continue on. Yes. You're supposed to continually be going up. I thought there were some bottles down there. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was looking for collectibles. Yeah, and as I'm what to do what's sometimes. Your, what's your problem? You know what? I just really want to try to. trick me too. Boom. Like I, I almost, I fell on top of the. <laughs> hey, you know what? It, it tricked me too. It's okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, it's like so not obvious. So. It looks like there's something down there, right? Yeah. No. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Totally. No. It's like yeah. There's so many things that. Hey, look a checkpoint. Careful of his head. And I am good, I think. There was a collectible that way. Wait, which I way? Think. This way? I think. Oh, yeah. No, I was picking up the balls I missed. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm just a sneaky raccoon. I'm so how sneaky. Sne how super sneaky are you? I'm like the most sneaky. I'm a master thief. Sneak. <laughs> Sneak. Sneak. I said it wrong. Sleef. A thief. A thief. I'm a serious raccoon. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I've got this covered. <laughs> Let me handle this. Excuse me. <laughs> Woohoo! Wee! Oh, woo -hoo! Wee! Yeah! Damn it. Oh, this is so much fun. Uh -oh. Even watching you. Oh, Damn. yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Andy, stop. stop. Yeah, there, three of them. There we Boom. go. There we go. 
Were you, were you about to say stop being bad at this or? Yes. Stop sucking. Oh. <laughs> no, I knew that. Yeah. This <laughs> is going to be not easy at all because I already failed it. Well. Mm. You guys know what I was getting at, though. <laughs> you know that I know how to do that. Like, you, you get do it. I? Do I? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I just realized what this all reminds me of. Courage what? the Cowardly Dog. Oh. This whole level reminds me of Courage the Cowardly Dog. This is oh. the entire world. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you know what? It does. Funny that, ain't it? Huh. Speaking of, I, I really want to watch some more Samurai Jack. Yeah. Oh, we're getting into Samurai Jack. Well, we're on like episode eight of season one now. Yeah. We kind of did a little mi uh, mini marathon yesterday. I've never, I've never watched it. So. I so, yeah. did not know that actually. Really. I never told, seen it. I told you that before. Mm, huh. Weird. I guess that must have been my reaction last time too. Huh. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Strange. Anyway, thanks everyone for sticking with us. Yeah, I'll beat if the boss next time. If you are still with us. If not, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm having a good time. <laughs> you know, come if you want, but I'm just going to have a good time here. You know what? Yeah. Here what, we are having, a good, are having a good time. We are having a good time. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.